Hi guys, and welcome back to my Patreon. I hope all of you are doing well. Um, tonight, we're gonna be doing your weekly horoscope forecasts and I'm gonna be doing them by um, element as always. So we're gonna be doing that, um, focusing on um, our air signs, which is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is going to be for the week of the 20th through February 20th through the 26th. Oh my God, can you believe it's almost already done? Like this uh, whole whole you know thing is almost done this whole month all right so this week if you're an air sign you're going to be stepping into your power um it's a week about your vision about like your goals um being optimistic and more confident you may notice that you kind of find a way with your words uh but you're very motivated to be the creative and kind of uh do the things that you want to do I also feel like um, some of you are having some trouble moving on, like when it moves on from a relationship, moving on from something that's, you know, you've been stuck in for quite some time. So it might feel like you're kind of just stuck in that, you know, mindset and you can't pull yourself out. It's like finding that. And it feels lonely because not everybody understands you. Uh, you've been soul searching. A lot of you in the past couple of weeks have been soul search, soul searching, looking for things, trying to find a deeper meaning behind, you know, what's going on in your life. But um, I do feel like um, for the most part, you, you know, you might be holding on to, to things a little bit more tightly than you should. And it's time to release these things because they don't serve you. And when you do that, you're going to be noticing that, um, you know, you are kind of like detaching from the situation, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. Um, sorry, a card fell here, but um, it kind of, if you've been asking yourself, like, is a situation going to go a certain way for you this week in particular? It's a possibility that it can. Um, with this um, new moon that's, that's happening, it's just a lot of different energy, which let me see, is it even the new moon? I'm trying to see what moon we're in right now. Let me look at my calendar here. Um, what is it? The 20th, the 19th. So I'm trying to see when we had the moon. Well, we have a new moon. Yeah. Coming up on the 23rd. So it's coming up. I think I'm looking at that right. Let me just make sure. I'm looking at March. Hold on. Hello. Calendar. Uh, yeah, it's on the 20th. It's the new moon that's happening. So again, you got to just be careful with that energy because I feel like a lot of people are affected by the moon greater than others. But you have some major choices coming up. I also feel like there's an opportunity for love if you're an air sign, if you've been struggling with that. Um, you know, asking yourself, is love coming in? Is love going to come in? Are you going to meet someone that you really, you know, you know, not be single for so long? Um, it's just like you have major choices to make, but I think that a lot of you might be ignoring the people around you that kind of are like friends or friendships that um, that already are like developing, developing into something greater. You know, I'm not saying it's like romantic, but I do feel like, again, a lot of you have good alignment of souls and energies uh, around you. So, you know, kind of let those energies and souls uh, kind of like grow if if so to speak all right so that's um if you are an air sign now we're going to do my fire sign so if you're an aries a leo or a sagittarius this is going to be for you again if you're an aries leo or sagittarius this will be for you and i hope again all of you are doing uh amazing <laughs> so let's see here let me also adjust this thing i'm trying to see i think that's pretty good I'm pretty happy with the way that I look on camera. Just sometimes want to make sure that it's positioned a little bit better. All right. So if you are a fire sign, again, you're an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. This is your horoscope for this week. Um, we start off with like the Queen of Swords. So again, I feel like, again, you're going to be very protective, very chatty, communicative uh, with people around you, but also, you know, when to like set up boundaries, you know, you're very astute. So you're not like coming in naive. Uh, with the Queen of Wands in reverse, I typically don't read reversals, but it, it seems like somebody around you could be pushy, demanding, or overbearing, almost like self-righteous. Like, so you might be dealing with some situation with another female or person in your life, right? It also feels like when it comes to your love life that there might be some trust issues that are developing or an imbalance, like maybe like conflict, not necessarily the good kind, you know what I mean? 
And then uh, we get the judgment card in reverse too. So it's like indecisiveness, uh, a little bit of self-doubt gossip. Um, again, just things that are a little bit uh, not in your, you know, in your area of like what you would want to have in this week going on in your life. Uh, remember that any um, hardships that you're experiencing right now as well, um, they're temporary. So use this time to kind of change the circumstances. And I feel like you will. Um, I also feel like you're going to be on the receiving end this week of some kind of compliment, something like a gift. So again, be on, be accepting of that, uh, accept that to, you know, enter into your life. And again, um, there might be some sadness, but it's going to be very short lived. So again, I feel like good energy overall coming in from you, um, for you, you know, uh, this, this week in particular. All right. So now we're going to get into my earth sign. So if you're a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn, it's going to be your reading from the 20th through the 26th. So let's see what comes up for you. All right. So the first thing that we have here is this week's the King of Cups in the upright position. So again, this is like a compassionate dominant, dominant male or compassionate male in your life. Someone that's friendly, empathetic, romantic, this could be a partner, but it also represents emotional intelligence. Then we have the um, we have the uh, eight of pinnacles. So it's like this about patience and planning and developing, working hard. Um, you know, a lot of you are doing that right now. With the hierophant, again, it's just like uh, you know, conformity. It's like you kind of sharing knowledge, social groups, you know, things that kind of drive you. That may be like what you're focused on right now. It's just a focus on like. The greater things. I also feel like some of you are in a transition. Some of you might be contemplating a move soon or wanting to move, and that's possible, possibly coming up. I also get that they're telling you that you know you need to take a leap of faith. Basically, um, you might feel like it's this is a new beginning, but it's scary for you. But just go forward with it. Um, with the temperance card, basically they're saying it, then everything that you do needs balance, but also don't be afraid. Be patient. You need to be very patient with what's going on in your life right now. All right. And then um, lastly, but not least, we have the uh, the Ace of Swords. So again, there's new ideas, new plans. You'll be successful and have breakthroughs. They're coming on their way. Again, it's just like patience, but it feels like there's a lot that's going on with your, you know, your your uh, emotions and how you perceive work. And again, I feel like doors are opening up for you because you're taking chances and taking risks, which is good. All right. So that's for my, um, my water, I'm sorry, earth signs. Now we're going to do our water signs, which is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So if you are a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, it's going to be your horoscope for this week. All right. So let's get into it. If you're a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, hello. All right. If you're a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, uh, this week we have the King, the Knight of Cups in reverse. So it's like unrequited love. Some of you are dealing with uh, emotions that um, that are not reciprocated with a love that's not reciprocated, and it could be hurting you in more ways than one. The Hangman is feeling like you're feeling trapped in a situation. So I feel like this is like your living situation. Sometimes it may be your work situation. Or family situations, you know, um, where you're surrounded by other family members or they they have a very important, they chime into your, you know, your love life, et cetera. But I feel like, again, there's a success and victory with the, um, with the six of wands, but it's a matter of you. It's like, you're going to get the recognition that you want, but you have to kind of isolate yourself from certain people and situationships and find that you're, you're, you know, you're standing your ground with the seven of wands. You need to stand your ground, stand up for your beliefs, fight for your, you know, what you believe in the most. And then we have the nine of pinnacles. So with that, it's basically, you're showing that you're going to find some stability this, this, you know, this week in particular is like, maybe you're not spending an, a lot on Starbucks. You know, when you start calculating how much you spend on Starbucks, maybe that's non-negotiable. Like for me, that's non-negotiable, <laughs> but for other people, you know, maybe it's like you go to Arby's every day. I'm just using that as an example. And maybe not going to Arby's is a good idea, you know, to save you money. It just depends. But with the queen of pentacles, it's like you're very mature and grounded, or there is a female in your life that's very mature and grounded. That's giving you some good insight as a business person. I feel like you're going to feel very, um, you know, prosperous and kind of like feeling very, um, very good. Again, there might be some feelings of isolation, but again, I feel like spirit is saying that for the most part, everything is going to go good for you. Um, just to stay positive, you know, and everything that you do, but that's the horoscopes for this week. I'm thinking, 
thankful for all of you guys that are tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to my Patreon if you're not already. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash psychic medium ray. It is ten dollars a month. You can cancel at any time with Patreon, so you're not committed to it. But hopefully, you stay for some additional content that's coming down the pipeline. All right, guys, I love you so much. Until next time, bye.